Hey everybody, we're going to be doing a bind of a Spectrum DX6 radio and a Blade Nano QX. Um, this is going to just be a basic setup of the radio uh, so it can be used with the uh, Nano. And um, it should be fairly straightforward. I'll try to do it quickly so I don't waste much of your time, but I think you'll get a lot of uh, benefit out of this, especially if you have this setup. Um, so here we go. We're going to kick on the radio right there. Let me move the quadcopter out of the way a little bit. All right, hopefully you can see the screen there. So first step <clears throat> to bind it, we're going to go into our menu, use the push button, and we're going to go down to system setup right there. Ask me if I would like to leave the RF mode. And yes, I do. Notice the lights went out up here. Uh, we're gonna do to do a uh, model select. We're gonna add new model. Yes, we want to create a new model. All right. Now we're gonna go to model type. Uh, for the nano, it's uh, airplane mode or acro mode. So we're gonna select that. We hit yes. Uh, model name. Now we can go in here and we can rename. Of course, it says acro. That's by default. We're going to rename that. I'm going to make that Nano. So notice how I can just scroll through here with the uh, wheel. When I find the letter I want, I just push down on the scrolling wheel. And I'm going to put in Nano. So I know, know which aircraft it is. So here we go. And it's already got an O there. So that's it's that simple. There we go back. All right, now we're gonna exit this screen. I'm gonna go back to the, to the main screen and um, I'm gonna enter uh, the functional list here and we're gonna go to DNR and Expo and we're gonna set up our Expos for uh, control. Now the, the uh, Blade QX, they recommend 70% for uh, the first setting and then 100% for the second setting. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this button here. That's what I'd like to use. So first of all, we're at aileron. You can see the screen there. We're at aileron, so I'm gonna scroll down. Now, if you notice, there's a switch on. I'm gonna click on that and uh, get it to flight mode, and then I'm gonna toggle this switch. Notice now it's selected switch F, which is really cool. So I don't have to worry about figuring out which switch is F. Of course it's labeled, but that makes it very, very easy to do. So now we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna scroll up. So zero uh, position on switch F, I want the uh, dual rate to be 70%. So I'm gonna dial that in to 70, hit enter. All right, now we're gonna go back to curve and I'm gonna select one and notice now it's switched to uh, one position on switch F and at that switch position it's dual rate of 100% so we're good there all right now we're gonna select the elevator uh, channel which of course is this stick over here up and down and we're gonna go to once again down to our switch flight mode I'm gonna cycle the switch there we go it's selected F that's what we want now for curve zero which is the top position this is of course your beginner position so the sticks are a little less sensitive we're gonna go to 70 percent there we go now once again we're gonna go to curve one and it's at 100%. So we've got that set. So we're gonna exit out and, and that takes care of it. Now, also, the quadcopter has a function where it goes from like a trainer mode or a, a basic mode to more of an agility mode. That is controlled with this switch. So basically you toggle it up, toggle it down, and it switches the the setting on the uh, quadcopter. That is already set up, and uh, once the quadcopter binds, that's all you have to do. 
Um, one other thing, we're gonna set up our timer here. So back to our functional list, go down to timer. Um, countdown time, let's, we're gonna leave it at five minutes. Based, based on my flying, that's about the, the time that I need to run before the batteries are gonna start to uh, go down. Of course, because they're lipos, you don't wanna, you don't wanna draw them down too much. So five minutes is good. Uh, next item there is it, the throttle stick is what initiates it and when it's 25% over. Now I'm gonna change from 25% to 20%. And we're gonna to go to next. And you can go through here and select set up your tones and I'm just gonna do one for example. So say I got a uh, one minute uh, alert. I can go from tone to voice or inhibit, which is nothing of course. So I'm gonna select voice, which is pretty cool. Uh, basically has an English woman talking to me telling me I'm about to wreck <laughs> and uh, let's do a, a timer start of uh, of the voice as well just so you can hear that so we have that set up alright last thing is the actual binding process so here we go we're gonna once again go into our functional list we're gonna go back to system setup Yes, we want to leave system set or go into system setup. Uh, let's go down here to bind. And there you go. Put receiver into bind mode, then select bind. So I'm going to go to bind. Binding. Now it's telling binding. me that it's binding. And of course it failed because I don't have it plugged in. So we're going to do that again. And this might happen to you, so I'll let you see how that works. So. Once again, I've just canceled it, gone back in to bind. I'm gonna plug in the battery on the on the uh, Nano. And there we go. I kind of have a big hand, so it's a little bit tricky for me to do that. All right, see the blue light flashing? So that means it's in bind mode. So we're gonna set that over to the side so you can watch it. And now I'm, I'm in bind mode on the transmitter, so I'm gonna hit enter, and it's binding there it's just locked on so that fast the quadcopter is now armed now before you try to fly it let's do one thing so we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it again and when you plug it in you need to make sure that you leave the quadcopter on the table or on a on the flat surface so that the the quadcopters flight controller can calibrate so if you notice now, I've got a blue light again. The, uh, on the screen here, we're locked on to the uh, Nano. And you can see our signal strength, so it is bound. And uh, I'm gonna crank up, crank up the volume there a little bit for you. So as you can see now, when I turn on the, the throttle, I have my props running. Very impressive how nicely this uh, combo works it's very very smooth this is not a toy grade piece of equipment I'm uh, very uh, enthusiastic about high quality stuff and this certainly is I'm very pleased with it not only is the nano high quality the radio is also very very high quality especially for the amount of money I was very almost surprised it was as well made as it is um, so very happy with that. I actually design equipment for a living and uh, so I'm a, I'm a snob when it comes to quality and so far my experience has been great. I've crashed this little quad probably 15 times so far. No, no problems whatsoever. So you can see there throttle on and then we can put throttle on and do some, do some little uh, maneuvers there on the table but very smooth very well controlled um, and of course if I flip to this uh, position one there I'll go into my full uh, throw on my on my control to the hundred percent and then one last thing if I if I cycle the stick over here this is actually uh, the D toggle I'll cycle it once 
I, you'll see a red light come on now. I'm in acro mode. I don't recommend flying like that if you're a beginner. Very hard to control because it doesn't self right. And we cycle it again and there we back to the blue light. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Very easy, very nice controller. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, please leave feedback. And thank you for watching another Project King video. See you next time.